Module 2.10 Designating PDF Artifacts Getting started with artifacts Any content within an accessible PDF that is not relevant to a screen reader or any other assistive program, such as decorative images, erroneous spaces, lines for formatting, and so on, must be hidden from the read order and tag tree for the document. All content of this type must be designated as an artifact. In this module, we will be artifacting both tagged and untagged content as well as exploring special cases for designating artifacts. An efficient approach to artifacting. Many special PDF elements, such as document borders and dot leaders, must often be manually hidden from the tag tree. However, unmarked content can be quickly found and removed with a tags menu. The rapid artifacting technique. PDF elements such as tabbed spacing, headers, and footers can be quickly located and hidden without manually selecting and designating them within the PDF document. To rapidly designate artifacts. One, in the tags menu, Find and select the Tags route labeled Tags. Open the Options drop-down menu and select New Tag. Name the new tag Hide in the Type field and select OK. Now select the new Hide tag that has appeared directly under the Tags route. 2. Open the Tags option menu and select Find. In the Find element window, Open the Find drop-down list and select Unmarked Content. Select the Find button. The first unmarked element will be found and highlighted within the document window. 3. Select the Tag Element button. The element is now tagged under the Hide tag, which will later be set as an artifact. 4. In the Find Element window, Select Find Next to continue tagging unmarked PDF elements under the Hide tag. If the working document has scanned elements, selecting OCR Suspects under the Find drop-down menu will allow mistakenly recognized text or characters to be found and tagged as well. 5. Once all unmarked content has been found, a Find Complete window will appear. Select OK to close this window. Six. Find and expand the Hide tag that was created in the Tags menu by selecting the caret icon next to its name. Select all containers within this tag by first selecting the top item under the tag, scrolling down to the bottom of the list, and then selecting the last item while holding the Shift key. 7. Under the Tags Options menu, find and open Change Tag to Artifact. 8. A Create Artifact window will open. Select Layout as the artifact type and press OK. All content that was placed in the Hide tag will now be set as an artifact. 9. Delete the empty Hide tag by right-clicking the tag name and selecting Delete Tag. An important note for untagged content. When using the Find window to locate artifacts, Missed content will sometimes appear that will need to be set within the tag tree in reading order. It is important to watch for any relevant content during this artifacting process, as this content will otherwise be hidden and left out for screen readers. Artifacting Special PDF Elements Content that can't be accessed from the tag's Find option must be manually designated as artifacts within the tag tree. This is normally done by highlighting the content in the Tags menu, opening the Options menu, and then selecting Change Tag to Artifact. However, for special elements of the document that involve style and formatting, the content may be dispersed into multiple tags or hard to find. To artifact these special PDF elements, it is easier to use the Reading Order window available within the Tags menu. The Reading Order tool should be used to artifact paths, dot leaders, and header slash footer content. Header and Footer Artifacts Elements placed as headers and footers are often repetitive and do not provide context or meaning when interpreted by assistive technology. To Artifact Headers and Footers 1. 
In the Tags menu, open the Options drop-down list to select Reading Order. 2. Use the Reading Order target cursor to highlight all content within a header or footer. 3. Once the elements are highlighted, select Background slash Artifact in the Reading Order window. This will artifact the selected header or footer elements. 4. Repeat this process to artifact the remaining header and footer elements within the document. While most headers and footers are irrelevant to screen readers and will be hidden, some header and footer content, such as the opening header or information containing the document version, will sometimes be considered relevant enough to be placed within the reading order. Dot leader artifacts. Found almost exclusively in a table of contents, dot leaders are the groupings of dots separating each subject title from their page number. As these dots and the page numbers make no contextual sense to a screen reader, they must be set as artifacts. To artifact dot leaders, 1. In the Tags menu, open the Options drop-down list to select Reading Order. 2. Within the Reading Order window, ensure the Show Page Content Groups option is unchecked. This will allow dot leaders to be more easily selected. 3. Using the mouse cursor, highlight the dot leaders in page number following the content that will stay tagged, which in this case is the first table of contents item. To tailor the selection of the content, holding the Shift key will allow additional content to be highlighted, while holding the Control key allows content to be partially deselected. 4. Select Background slash Artifact in the Reading Order window. The dot leaders and page number for this item have now been artifacted. Path Artifacts The lines that form table borders, section breaks, and underlying text are often identified as paths in Acrobat. This content will be artifacted to prevent the path name from being identified in the read order. To Artifact Paths 1. In the Tags menu, open the Options drop-down list to select Reading Order. 2. Use the selection cursor to highlight the line or path to be set as an artifact. Where precision is needed, particularly for underlying text, it is advisable to magnify the document within the viewing window to make selecting the path easier. 3. Once the path is selected, press Background slash Artifact in the Reading Order window. The path is now set as an artifact. Ensuring tags reflect relevant content. Content set as artifacts through the methods found in this module may leave some tags in the document's tag tree empty. After designating all artifacts within the PDF, these tags should be removed from the read order. To remove empty PDF tags, 1. In the Tags menu, open the Options drop down menu. 2. Select Delete Empty Tags. Any tags that contained only artifacted content should be deleted. Conclusion In this module, we've covered the general process of designating artifacts as well as special cases for setting PDF formatting elements as artifacts. The upcoming modules will focus on formatting specific elements, such as tables, form fields, and lists, for PDF accessibility.